Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, the world of automobiles literally turned upside down when Toyota introduced a whole whack of cars, crossovers, SUV, and even a truck in the form of electric vehicle just a couple days ago. We never expected this to happen, but we've been blessed with Toyota's new strategy about what they want to do with electric vehicles in the next 10 years or so. In fact, their announcement that uh, by 2030, they will have 30 electric vehicle was a big shock for us because Toyota has been seen as kind of being laid back a little bit when it comes to electrification. So we're still taken back by all the announcement, but we're just very, very excited for the future. But there is a lot of confusion now because Toyota is supposed to introduce a whole new line of fully electric uh, brand called the Beyond Zero or BZ for short. And so, as you know, we've seen the BZ4X already, uh, but there's also uh, other BZ series models that were introduced in this new media reveal. But strangely enough, in addition to the BZ series, Toyota also introduced a bunch of other electric cars and trucks as a concept that is not using the Beyond Zero or BZ nameplate. So how does that work? We have a Beyond Zero brand, all new electric cars, and then Toyota is introducing a bunch of other electric cars and trucks that is not using the Beyond Zero name tag. Well, it seems really confusing. So let me clarify for you. Basically what Toyota is doing is to create a sub-brand within Toyota called the Beyond Zero or BZ for short. That is a fully dedicated electric car or electric crossover or SUV platform. So anything that is built on an all new platform with a skateboard design, which is basically motor and batteries and all of the components as an all new platform and an all new architecture, those are the Beyond Zero or BZ platform. So they're fully dedicated electric car designed from the ground up to be electric vehicle. But Toyota also wants to introduce a whole series of electric cars, crossovers, trucks, and mini cars that are kind of following the pattern of the existing models. So they are not fully dedicated models, but instead they're being inspired by the existing series of cars and trucks. These are giving a different name. They're not using the BZ or Beyond Zero nameplate, but instead they're going to get nameplate that are similar to the current models and trims. So for example, one of the most exciting things that we saw so far in the media reveal is a pickup truck EV which has a close resemblance to the Tacoma. So we know that one is likely based on the next generation Tacoma, which is coming out in about two years. So that one will likely be called Tacoma EV or Tacoma electric vehicle. And therefore that is not gonna fall in line with the Beyond Zero brand new nameplate. So there will be some separation. Another example is the Cruiser EV, which is also an exciting model. It looks like a baby FJ Cruiser. Looks like it's going to be some kind of micro off-roader. And that model will also likely carry the cruiser name. So it could be TJ Cruiser or FJ Cruiser. I doubt that's going to be called FJ Cruiser, but I'm sure it'll be some kind of a question mark J Cruiser. And so that one will also not adopt the Beyond Zero nameplate. We can keep on going here, but there's also uh, the sports car EV uh, or sports EV, they call it, the crossover EV and so forth, so forth. So all of that, those lineup that you see right here are modeled after the existing model, the current model lineup, and therefore they'll be piggybacking on any of the models that will continue to carry over over the next several years that is gasoline engine based or at least hybrid based. So they are going to be in some of a separate category than fully electric dedicated platform that will only be offered in electric format. And these ones will have a brand new name such as BZ1X, 2X, 3X, 4X, 5X, 6X, who knows? Or in fact, if it's not a crossover, then the word X will come out. So it could be just a BZ3, BZ4, BZ5, and they will be a kind of a sub-brand within Toyota. And so that's why it's separated. Now I think Toyota is doing that to just play safe in case people get confused or not all that clear about this new Beyond Zero sub-brand because they don't want to make the same mistake as a Scion brand, which kind of uh, went away because it just didn't work out. So in order to play safe, I think Toyota is doing two things at the same time, which is to showcase the all new Beyond Zero platform under the BZ uh, nameplate, which is a sub-brand, all new brand, while keeping the existing models 
partnered with the EV. So you have a Tacoma, a Tacoma EV, and maybe who knows, Forerunner and Forerunner EV. And so they will keep the existing names, but tack on the EV name slash configuration so that buyers have a choice of buying a gasoline version or hybrid version or the EV version. So they are in some of a separate category from the dedicated platform in the Beyond Zero segment. So that's what Toyota is trying to do. It's still kind of confusing. And on top of that, Lexus is another brand that's going fully electric by 2030. So there's additional <laughs> confusion from that too, but I'll talk about Lexus separately. Okay, so let me see if I can explain this better in this actual photo. So this is the entire lineup of electric vehicle that Toyota showed us just recently. Uh, it doesn't include the Lexus model, so that's, uh, that's separate, but that's okay, because I really want to focus on the Toyota models. So what we have here in the front is the Beyond Zero brand. So these are the Beyond Zero BZ uh, new models, dedicated platform that we have. And these are supposed to be its own sub-brand and they have their own name uh, nomenclature like BZ1, BZ2, BZ3. In the case of a crossover or SUV, it will say uh, BZ3X, BZ4X, etc. So these are not tied to any existing model and they will stand on their own. So these are uh, at the front of this pack because I think these are coming very quickly, starting with the BZ4X in the summer of 2022 and it wouldn't be very long before uh, Toyota will introduce us the other models that we see here which includes kind of a CHR type small crossover uh, and as well as a BZ sedan that we see uh, I don't think we'll get this small micro SUV that, that we see in front of us, the red one here, but um, we will likely get this Highlander looking large EV here as well. So this one we will probably get. Uh, so that's the front of the pack. Now let's take a look at the back of the pack. So the, this is where we are seeing models that are closely tied to the existing nameplate and so these will not carry the beyond zero uh, nomenclature and they will have their own name that is likely tied to an existing or past model so we have the um, kind of new tacoma model here that is likely going to be called tacoma ev for lack of better description uh, so it's not going to be called beyond zero something just tacoma ev and frankly by the way this kind of looks like a next generation tacoma which is out in two years time so that's a really really interesting concept they showed us and then we have one here that looks like um, a miniature fj cruiser i talked about this previously who knows what it's going to be called, but here it's called uh, Cruiser EV or EV Cruiser. And so we know for sure they will use some kind of a name with the word Cruiser. And so this is super micro niche, micro SUV along the lines of a Ford Bronco, Jeep Wrangler, but much smaller. And once again, not tied to be on zero nameplate. Then we have a small crossover here, uh, which we don't know what this one is going to be all about, but this looks quite uh, funky as well. This one I think might be a bit further away in terms of timeline, uh, but uh, it's uh, likely also for Asian and European market. We might not get something so small here, uh, but this one here, it looks kind of like an electrified version of the Toyota Venza. So once again, this one will likely have its own name, Maybe it's going to be called Venza EV, and it will be a very important model because uh, uh, compact crossover will be a volume segment. So that one is probably coming very soon. And we have this wonderful news of uh, Toyota showcasing us uh, an actual uh, sports car of some sort, that's EV version, and they're just simply call it, calling it sports EV. So this could be foreshadowing uh, MR2 replacement, something I've been talking about for a while. And so maybe this will be called the MR2 EV, right? And, uh, and not adopt the Beyond Zero name because some of these names, whether it's uh, MR2 or maybe Celica, have such important value associated with their name they're going to want to keep those uh, legacy names. Now these are new ones. These are not something we had before. These are kind of micro boxes or micro models, likely again for Asian market, not for North American market. So these are probably the K car sized and much smaller, not so much this one here, 
but this one definitely is a smaller one. And so we probably won't get neither of these in North America. Uh, once again, Toyota chose to keep them separated from the Beyond Zero nameplate. And this is kind of the something that we saw already e-palette. Uh, Toyota has been showing that around autonomous people mover that Toyota also tried to use in uh, Tokyo Olympics. Uh, and uh, so this will be kind of a separate commercial product, not something for consumer use. So all this here, this part here is the um, is what we have in terms of uh, current model partnership. So they will take the existing name, add the word EV and then convert them into something that we can still associate with. Uh, so Tacoma and Tacoma EV, for example, or Toyota Venza and a Venza EV. Now one disappointment is that I don't see a Forerunner here, so they um, might not have a Forerunner EV for a while. Looks like they're going to default back to this one here, which is a large uh, crossover slash Highlander type SUV that will be electrified. And uh, so I don't think they're going to name this Highlander EV because this one is inside the Beyond Zero nameplate. So this one will have who knows, some kind of, uh, uh, you know, beyond zero, 5X or 6X or something like that. And so more, we got more beyond zero name here. Uh, and then we got beyond zero here, beyond zero and beyond zero. So these are all of the models that are coming up. Of course, we're going to get uh, 4X first. So this one will come first. Uh, and then this kind of C CHR looking model will likely come next, either this one or maybe the large SUV, because those are going to be popular. Uh, of course, they do have to introduce a sedan to compete with uh, Tesla sedans, but this is not going to sell as well as a crossover, so I suspect they might be introduced a bit later. And this micro, micro uh, version, again, is likely not for North American market. So it's going to be interesting, right? Which one would we get first? Which one will come later? That's all a bit of a guesswork. Um, but I have my bet on the Tacoma EV coming up very soon, 2025, 2026. I think the Venza type uh, EV will also come very soon because that's a high volume market. And we're going to get a whole series of Beyond Zero models in addition to BZ4X. I think we're going to get this Highlander version and then the CHR version and maybe a little bit later the sedan version. So those are uh, things I think that's coming up. The sports car version I think is probably a few years later, maybe 2027, 2028, because that's going to be a truly a niche market. So we're not going to get that right away. And I also suspect that this isn't the entire lineup. Toyota is probably keeping some of the other models in secrecy to give us some surprises in a year or two. Otherwise, there will be no surprises because something like Tundra will likely get uh, electrified as well down the road. So, uh, But this is still a big surprise. It's also an amazing, amazing news that we received from Toyota to see so many models so early in the game and for us to get a glimpse of what's coming down the road. So I'm truly excited. And I'm still not quite convinced this two-tier approach to branding, uh, which is the Beyond Zero branding, and then another one that's based on the existing uh, nameplate. I don't think that's really the best way to go about uh, in doing this, but I think is Toyota is actually just very serious about competing with Tesla, and they probably want to continue to uh, upmarket the name Beyond Zero so that it stands on its own and it's separated from everything else Toyota has. And so people will say, hey, I wanna own a Toyota Beyond Zero electric car and it has a bit of a ring to it. And so I assume that they slowly but surely want to uh, accelerate the Beyond Zero branding so that it can compete with the Tesla of the world. Well, we will see shortly as Toyota continue to evolve and tell us more and more about the future. For now, we're just super excited to see all these EV models and I'm going to continue to explain uh, more of this a little bit down the road. So for now, I hope this was helpful. I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.